Temperature is a big idea and people have a poor definition of the difference between temperature and energy. Let's start by setting up an idea of thermal equilibrium and that is that objects at the same temperature have no net transfer of energy. So if two objects are at the same temperature then there's no transfer of energy between them. That is defined in the zeroth law of thermodynamics. And that states that if two objects are in thermal equilibrium with a third object, then the first two objects must be in thermal equilibrium with themselves. Now that seems like something quite obvious to say, but it actually sets up the idea of absolute temperature. That temperature doesn't depend upon what an object is. It doesn't depend upon what an object is made of. Temperature is proportional only to the average kinetic energy of the molecules. Absolute temperature does not depend on what substance it is, therefore. So if any object is at the same temperature as any other object, then they are in thermal equilibrium. There'll be no transfer of heating between them. So for example, if I took water or copper molecules at the same temperature, then each would have the same average kinetic energies in their molecules. One of the substances might have a higher internal energy because it might have a higher potential energy due to its state, or the particles of one might be vibrating with a higher speed because the other one might have a higher mass of particles, but the average kinetic energy of the particles would be the same at that same temperature. That's a really key idea in physics. So you always need to convert to Kelvin if you are seeing the capital T, absolute temperature. Now one degree Kelvin is equal to one degree Celsius. You just need to take the value in Celsius and add 273. Kelvin is a scale from absolute zero and absolute zero is minus 273 degrees Celsius. You only need to quote the zeroth law of thermodynamics, that's thermodynamics zero, but the others are good ideas to have, so I'm going to go through them quickly now. Now thermodynamics one is the idea that all things tend towards thermal equilibrium, so heat dissipates in a closed system, and that also encapsulates the law of conservation of energy, that idea that energy can't be created or destroyed, just transferred from store to store, which is a really big idea in physics, it's maybe the biggest idea in physics in fact. Thermodynamics two defines what heat is, and heat moves from from hot to cold. Heat moves from a higher temperature to a lower temperature. And actually it states that the rate of heating is proportional to the temperature difference. So the bigger the temperature difference, the bigger the rate of heat transfer between the objects. So thermodynamics 3 just defines absolute zero and it states that that would be the same for all substances. Uh, if, if there could be a point at which the molecules could have zero kinetic energy, then that value would be minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Kelvin. That is the coldest theoretically anything could possibly be. I always think it's worth noting there's a theoretical minimum, an absolute zero, but there's no absolute maximum. There's no hottest something could be. Hopefully you can see then that all of those laws are really encapsulated within the zeroth law of thermodynamics. <laughs>